Hey everyone, it's Captain Napkin here, and I got a special somebody with me. Mr. Hey. Unishack. <laughs> What's up? Not much. How are you doing today? Good, you? Mm, pretty good. So, John. You yeah. To be referred to as John. Real name, anyways. So, I understand that you have this amazing website called Spawn Media, or is that right? It's just spawn.com. Spawn.com? Yeah. And apparently this thing is just fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's getting there. Yeah, it will be when we're done. Do you want to tell us a bit about it? Uh, sure. It's um, it's a social uh network for gamers like you and me. So I can sign up, and then I'll send you an alliance request. And once you, when you're you have your profile, you'll accept it, and we can pretty much do the Facebook thing but there's a cool feature that we have where you can uh, put your gamer tag your PlayStation live ID your Starcraft Battle.net ID and we'll take those points and that will eventually go to a charity because we'll have corporate sponsors give us money and then we change your points to money and that will be donated to the charity that you want to give it to very nice can you tell us who your corporate sponsors are now or is that oh uh, we're in of... the process of finding them oh but okay we did have a deal uh we talked to verizon and, and they said they would be interested very nice so how did you get involved to in all this um me and my friend's roommate actually and we're just sitting down one day and he wanted to start a company and i was like Okay, well, gaming is a good market to go into because it's doing really well, even though the rest of the world is going <laughs> downhill. <laughs> so, and then we also looked at social networking, and that's going big with Facebook and like Foursquare and other little social media things. So, we were like, why not make a social network for gamers? And then we decided to put the charity thing in as like a little addition to keep people coming back. That's awesome. So, how does this charity thing work? So, say me as a gamer and I want to get involved in this, how do I donate or how does that all work out? So, you'll just put your Xbox Live gamer tag, your PlayStation ID, and all your other online profile IDs into your uh, details. And then we'll total up your th your points, and it'll go through our little formula. So my points would be like my gamer score. Yes. Okay. Based off your achievements and or, or your PlayStation trophies, and they will be transformed. They will each have like a monetary value, right? So you're gonna donate each spawn point to a charity. Like you'll go onto our charities page when that's fully up, and you'll donate. And you can choose how many spawn points you want to give to each charity, which will give them actual money. Nice. Now, what is the ratio for, say, your gamer score points to actual money? Would it be one gamer score achievement point for a dollar or 10 cents? Or do you know how that would work out yet? Um, it would work out based on the uh, total spawn points we have like on the site with how many users and how many money each person has. Uh, compared to our total funds that we have to give to charities. Very nice. So when does this thing go into official launch? Or do you guys have a plan or a date yet set? Um, like we will have it perfected in probably six months. But right now, we you can write on each other's walls and send friend requests and stuff. Uh, we have a charity page, uh, not open, but we're setting it up right now offline so that that'll be live pretty soon as well and as soon as we find a corporate sponsor you'll be able to do the charity feature very nice there you have it guys so go to www.spawn.com sign up make an account send everyone friend request i believe mine is uh cvt space napkin i don't remember <laughs> i gotta go back and look yeah i think and, it is all right good at least you know <laughs> someone remembers <laughs> And game for a cause. I guess that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, so that's our All our that time spending on your Xbox or PlayStation or PC, whatever you're doing, can actually turn into being something very helpful for someone in need. It's like Christmas came early. So awesome. <laughs> Thanks. 
it took a, a lot of thinking and a lot of planning. So how long have you been working on this project? Um, it came into, like, it was conceptualized uh, uh, probably February of 2011, I guess, yeah. That was fairly recent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet you're pretty excited for this all to actually take yep. off. Can't wait. Awesome. Also, by the way, everyone, John, or Unishak, also has a YouTube channel. Exact same as... Oh, by the way, just throwing this out there first. Not to confuse anyone, this is actually my gameplay. Sorry, John, I know you want this one. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, check out John's channel. I'll put the link also in the description. So there'll be two things you guys should be checking out. Subscribe to him. His content's awesome. I've been watching it all day today. I didn't even know you played Modern Warfare 2. I knew you were a Halo guy. You and I go back about, what, three? No. It hasn't been three oh, years, yeah, has over, it? Over two, but over probably two? not quite three. Yeah. It's quite a while anyways. Yeah. All the people you can meet on Xbox Live. That's the social network right there. <laughs> <laughs> I totally just lost trail of thought I was talking about. <laughs> I don't remember. You were talking about uh, how I played Modern Warfare 2. That's two. right. Modern Warfare 2. I just sent you a, uh, an alliance request. By the way. Oh, okay. I'll check. That. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I've... into the Call of Duty series. I knew you played Halo for a while, but I had no idea that you played COD games. I actually played COD for uh, back in the day, and then decided to get Modern Warfare 2, of course. Uh, and I just played that on the side, like like you said, primary game has always been Halo, so. I always toss in the Modern Warfare 2 disc when I get bored of that. Nice. Have you ever played Black Ops at all? Um, I did play it once on the Xbox, and I got a, I got a quad feed for the like the end of a search and destroy game. But of course, I didn't get to save it because it wasn't on my Xbox. Nice. Don't you love that? <laughs> a tournament or a friend's house, you do something ridiculously cool, but you can't save it. So you brag about it, but no one believes you. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So I'm guessing you're going to be looking forward to Modern Warfare 3 when that comes out. November the 15th, right? It's No, November 15th is Halo. Halo. The okay. 8th or something like that. Um, but actually, I'm looking more like for Battlefield 3. I played the beta. That was awesome. You liked it? Yeah. I <laughs> I did not like the beta. I'm oh. not picking it up. Okay. That's just me. Yeah, I just need money in order to get this stu these games. <laughs> yeah, that's also another issue. Yeah, it's funny playing the beta. I know there's a lot of glitches and whatnot, but my connection is just a piece of crap anyways in the first place. It's just that game killed me. Did not like it. But no, I'm actually looking forward to Modern Warfare 3. And okay. I'm bored out of my mind from video games right now. Because Black Ops has kind of lost its interest. I've been playing Gears of War 3 a little bit. It's kind of worn down. Like, I'm, it's just repetitive now. Because, you know, I've been doing all the Horde stuff and campaign achievements. And now it's just, like, <laughs> boring. <laughs> just so. I mean, uh, I hate to admit this, but my brother got me into RuneScape. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I said it. know I'm a gamer, but I, I've heard of it, but I've never played it. It is, uh, it's pretty much like a really cheap version of World of Warcraft. I've never played Warcraft. Oh, Have you? No, no, no. No, I'll probably never ever play it either, but I'm scared to start playing I'm this. scared if I got into that I'd never turn around. <laughs> I know, actually, I heard a lot of people get stuck into it. That becomes their reality, so it's like, yeah, no, I'm going to stay away from that. Yeah. I'm still a first-person shooter anyways. Yeah. Other than, you know, Fable's a classic. Was. Now it just sucks. <laughs> So yeah, Modern Warfare 3. Are you so you are getting that, right? I will pick up a copy of Modern Warfare 3. All right, you know I gotta wreck it up and do a dual commentary on that sometime. For we sure. Have the screen's going. That Modern would be awesome. Yours. Because I did get the capture card finally. Very nice. You got a PVR? Yes. Ooh, Honopog. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Honopog. Yeah, I don't know. I call but it Honopog. It's... I'm Canadian. <laughs> It's got that exclamation mark at the end. Yeah. I always feel like I should scream it a little. <laughs> well, we're at the end of this.